So, I was just uh, I, I'm listening to this hour-long thing of Stephen Molyneux, um, and I guess it was broadcast on a podcast or wherever free domain radio uh, is. And he's standing in for another host or whatever. Whatever, that doesn't matter. But he's making all these excuses for J.P. Morgan and stuff, and like, well, it's the government that makes them have to create all the normal stuff you can't make money at, so they have to be weird. <laughs> Warren Buffett's made plenty of money just doing mainstream, productive capitalism, free market production, enterprise, entrepreneurship, uh, after it's established, you know, he, he likes to invest in things that are, you know, you know, the companies that make corn chips or whatever people are, are buying, that take a narrow margin, these companies. They optimize, and they're the people that, you know, that get more efficient. The financial instrument people, that's a different thing. But, uh, so they're not forced into it. They're just crazy. You want to see, you want to talk about the academic world, programming kids, the liberalism is nothing, all of that. You know, read these classics of literature that are whatever. Make people liberalish, not really. That, that's nothing compared to what they do in MBA programs, right? But one thing I basically agree with, and what he's saying is that you just let them collapse. If the bank collapses, it collapses. The problem with that is people get out of work. You lose 100,000 jobs overnight, that's bad. What, what occurred to me, though, is I was thinking about. Now, I make a distinction between logical Marxism, let's say, and Marx. Marx is, you know, the, the communist international communism, right? And then Marx did some analysis, but then his actions didn't go with it. You know, like he said, capitalism would collapse of its own accord. And then he went and tried to have a bloody revolution and led to Stalin who thought, well, people aren't ready because the collapse didn't happen, so we'll indoctrinate them with violence. Yeah, that works out great. Thanks for helping out the people there, dude. But when banks, like these huge banks and huge auto, inter worldwide, huge still, auto companies, when these people are collapsing, that's what the theory said would happen. And what we should do is we should bail them out. But we don't bail them out. What? That makes no sense. You contradicted yourself. But what we should do is nationalize them. You know, if GM collapses, we nationalize them. And not a little bit of like, well, we bought the stock and now we're on the board. It's almost like nationalization. No, we fucking nationalize them. We own them. And if we have to liquidate them because we don't know how to manage them, cooperatively as a people, then okay. Well, at least those people don't lose their jobs right away. Those people should start looking for jobs, maybe. <laughs> you know, if we have to bail out mortgage and we want to give it to the mortgage companies, then we nationalize them. Or the, you know, yeah, the mortgage companies or whatever. If we want to give it to the uh, you know, if they don't want to be mortgagized, they're like, no, we're doing okay. They don't want to be nationalized, I mean. Then we give the money to the people that, that borrowed it, and we own their house. We pay off their loan in agreement to own their house and lease it back to them. It's not rocket science. It's not at all rocket science. We have millions of dollars still in this country, but we're going to become just a wasted... We're going to become Greece. It was pretty awesome once. And it's still beautiful, right? Yeah, America will still be beautiful. Might get more beautiful, just not in the cities or where any people live. But there'll be less people, so... It's straightforward. Um, these guys collapse. We have to bail them out. We own them. You know, maybe the government could own some enough car companies and stuff that if it did figure out how to run them, we wouldn't need taxes. It would make money by selling the cheap car that kids buy. And fat cats could, and could still buy Lexus, you know? It'd still be around. It'd be even better. 
Why? Because the regular shit would be taken care of. People just want regular shit would be taken care of. By all the companies that would fail, all the huge companies became like bureaucracies, like bad governments, corrupt governments. And they fail. We take them over, clean them out, liquidate it if we have to, get a few factories at least out of each deal. Yeah, what do you think of that? It might be a way to not ever have to pay taxes. Why can't governments just make their money off of running the infrastructure at a fair price? Because nobody knows what the fair price is. People, people don't do fair. No, some do. There's people even employed in the OMB in place that know how to do non is They like numbers. They don't give a fuck about your stupid politics. If you set that person down, they'll give you the numbers. You just have to be smart enough to listen. Oh, but, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I know.